Hi everyone, and welcome back to DK Cigarette Store, your YouTube channel for anything to do with vintage cigarettes. If you like what you see, please do support me by clicking on the subscribe button and you'll get access to all the latest videos that I produce. Now, Christmas is my absolute favorite time of year. And so I thought I'd do a short video to showcase some of the Christmas themed packets and boxes that I've collected over the years. I love every single one of them and I hope you enjoy this video. This set of Christmas themed packages are set up as a display in my cigarette room every Christmas as a reminder of a period in history when cigarettes were more than just nicotine sticks. Each item is special in its own right and are significant as they represent a time of giving and goodwill to all. Cool cigarettes were introduced by Brown and Williamson in the 1930s and it was their attempt at bringing in a mentholated cigarette. Willie, short for Williamson, the penguin was used as their mascot to promote this brand and he is instantly recognizable and associated with it even to this day. This carton dates to 1939 just at the outbreak of the Second World War. Next, Chesterfields were first made by the Drummond Tobacco Company in the early 1870s. They later became part of Lidget and Myers, who took over the brand. This carton also dates to 1939 and is a special Christmas edition. The advertisement shown is the exact one from 1939 promoting this Christmas carton. These camels date to 1953 and was a set of complimentary cigarettes given by a Herman J. Duke and Son. I can actually trace Mr. Duke back to the 1940 American census and I surmise that this was perhaps a family business based in Richmond, Virginia. Next is the lovely Herbert Tarot and Greeting Box which probably dates to around the 1930s or 40s. This brand started as a smoking mixture at least as early as 1912 and then cigarettes around the start of the First World War. The brand would change hands a number of times but the monocled gentleman as mascot would represent the brand for many years. The little Christmas tree pack you can see was actually a promotional pack made by G. A. Giorgiopoulou who were a company set up by Greek immigrants and they were very active in the early to middle part of the 20th century. They specialized in making bespoke cigarettes for high-end clubs and societies. This particular pack was made for a company called the Premier Letter Service Inc. And this pack actually dates to 1951. I have left the final box to the end, as this is a rather special one. This box of 30 cigarettes was sent presumably to troops or workers on the front during the First World War on behalf of the American Red Cross during Christmas time. The box contains Powell cigarettes, which were made by the Frismuth brothers around that time. What makes this box so special for me is that on the reverse, there is an inscription from a soldier called Richard F. Lloyd, who served in the American Expeditionary Forces as they flew over to Europe to bolster the Allies. There are only a few cigarettes smoked, and I hope that this means that Richard made it back home with this box of cigarettes, never needing to smoke them again. I hope you enjoyed seeing these wonderful items and the history they represent. And whether you celebrate Christmas or not, it may still be a time for reflection of the year past and for wishing goodwill to all.